I mean, I, I can't make it up. My game room got ruined. Again, for real. Alright, so let's do some rewinding back to about nine and a half years ago, nine years ago to an old channel of ours called Retro Liberty, which I won't talk about too much because we've done it before. I built this game room back in the day, did it my own way, did it with my friends. At that time, we didn't know anything about construction, about building stuff. You know, we were younger dudes. We were kind of learning how to be a man, so to say. And let's say we did a lot of things wrong. Fast forward, game room fell apart, needed to redo it. Two years ago, two years ago, I hired a guy, a friend of mine, still a good friend of mine. Well, we don't talk as much anymore and that doesn't really matter. But basically, I hired a friend, a buddy, a, a light friend, getting to know him friend at the time. And I hired him to build this game room. I was excited. I shared the journey with you guys. It was a little over two years ago. Things were going well. We seemed to do everything the proper way, the way you should be building things. The way, that's why I hired him. He's a contractor, he builds things. We have been working on the shed. We wanna do this the right way. If I did this myself, the shed would not be good at all. It would be just like before and would have some issues. But he made one little mistake. I'll be honest, the rest has been great. The walls are great, the sound is great. I love it in here. Well, the sound doesn't sound great without a proper mic. I'm, I know I've been standing back there, blah, 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 blah. And this room has been nothing but amazing to me. You might ask yourself why everything's gone because I had to move pretty much everything out of this room. Everything. Yeah, some of the stuff I sold for different reasons, whatnot, but I still have a ton of stuff. Too much stuff. It's it's really a problem, honestly. I really was thinking about the other day. I need to like chill a little bit with the collecting. But with that said, I had to move everything out of here because he made one mistake, one simple mistake that caused so many problems. So the biggest thing when you're building something, right? You know, uh, as a person of faith, what's one of the songs? On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Well, we built the foundation of this place pretty well. We put it together. In fact, I can feel the two by fours or the four by fours under my feet that are strong. They're all weather treated. They're very strong under here. I could whack a big sledger on them and they'd be fine. But the problem is the plywood that we laid over it, the wood that's gonna go over the foundation, right? You got the foundation, you got the framing going on, then you got the plywood, then you got the soft pads for the floor, then you got the flooring on top of it. Sign sealed, delivered, you're good. I'm not blaming him. I'll take full blame. I don't care. I should have checked. The plywood that went over the framing wasn't weather treated at all. In fact, so much to say, I could literally jump in spots where the framing isn't, right? You have the framing in certain areas, you know, I, I don't remember what we did, might have did every two feet, two and a half feet, three feet, I'm not sure what we did. You got the framing going on, boom, boom, boom. But then you got, you know, the gap in between where the plywood's down, where the floor goes. I could sink through this right now if I jump, right through it. I took off some of the flooring, you might be able to see it in my phone camera, I have two cameras going. I could literally stick my finger all the way through. Thankfully, Thankfully, I noticed the floor starting to move a little bit a while ago and I was like, oh no. Oh no, not again, not here we go. Thankfully, no moisture has come in here yet. We caught it way before any of that. There's no moisture, there's no problem with anything in here. Rain has come, heat has come. This room has been great. But as far as the flooring, I have to take everything out and put in all new flooring. I'm actually doing it tomorrow with Ricky and Andy. They're coming over to help me. Taking out the flooring, probably gonna brace the foundation a little bit better, the framing a little bit better. If we did maybe three feet, we'll put two by fours every one and a half feet or so to kind of even out so there's nothing like that. And we gotta buy different wood. We gotta get better wood. We gotta get better weather treated wood because the only thing this weather, this flooring treated was treated me bad because I could jump through. The only good news about it, and I wouldn't say it's good news, is I, I, again, being an ADD collector, I've talked about this before, just recently in a video, uh, a good buddy of mine, Retro Ghetto, great channel, just did a video called Co Complete Collecting, and I was in it and I said like, I can't do it because I can never get complete collections because I have too much ADD, I have too much going on in my brains. I need to move, I need to do things, I need to change things up all the time. Even though I just got my room looking beautiful, my brain was like, I need to mix things up again. So what I'm actually thinking about doing in here is making it more of like a production room for me. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, I don't know if I ever told you, but I have been editing 
full editor for Phoenix Resale and for Retro Rick. You may have known, may have not known that. I have been editing a lot, been doing a lot of production on the side for other companies, other people, other networks, TV networks, things like that, commercials, branding. I need more space for that on cue, ready to go. Even just now setting up the camera, I don't remember the last time I set up a camera other than going out to the swap meets. And I'm like, I need this stuff on hand at all times when I'm doing voiceovers and narrations for companies. I just wanna have that set up at all times. So that's what I'm, my foot just, ow, my foot just did a little crackle. I, I just got done running six miles, maybe that's why. Or was that me just needing a reason to flex on you guys that I just ran six miles? Why would I, why would any of you care that I ran six miles? But. With all that to said, I'm not even mad about it. I don't get mad about things. I have learned in the world that life is too short to get mad about stuff like this. Could I have got mad? Could I have called Joe? Hey, you're dead. You're dead, Sanka. No, I was like, all right, that sucks. Well, plywood, plywood is a little cheaper, I'll be honest with that. But in reality, it's okay. I can redo it and mix things up and have fun changing things up again. This isn't, there's no, no, I'm not opening up. Hey, go fund me to get me some floors. No, I don't, I don't care. I don't give a crap. I'm ex I, I'm, if anything, I'm excited to do, ooh, I'm gonna have a lot of cool posters on the wall. Phoenix sent me this poster. And I'm gonna have posters on the wall. Check this out, baby. For my son. For my son. So if you guys watch Rick's channel or ours, or even Phoenix's, you might see that. I, I filmed this meme. And when I filmed it, I told myself, I'm like, this would be a great meme. For my son! I'm gonna make this a meme on Retro Rick's channel. It worked. And also I started one on Phoenix Resale's channel with the Mr. Krabs money. Money! And it worked. I mean, it's been kind of a meme on his channel. So hey, I have the power of a meme lord. I don't even know why I'm standing here. What am I doing? Other life update, maybe I just mentioned that I kind of don't get stressed about things anymore and I let things go. I'd like to contribute that too. Almost five years having no social media. January 4th will be five years of me with no social media. Yeah, I have YouTube, but uh, Mikey does all the social media on it. I create the content, doing what I love most. Yeah, I'll pop in and say hi here and there, but I don't have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, any of that stuff, whatever. Whatever you young kids TikToking and doing the beep bop boo. I don't, I don't have. How long have I been holding this? So with that said, I'd like to say, honestly, I'm... It broke. Ah, big spider on it! Look. With that said, I have a random side thing I should probably throw out. And I know we're in a crazy world and it's been a kind of a weird world for the last two years or so. But I'd like to say that make sure you're cool to everybody. I've been seeing people be mean to people or upset with people on both sides of any aisle, if you want to call it. Maybe that's the problem in the first place. I just think people need to be cool with one another, regardless if you disagree. You're always going to disagree with other people. And it's one of those things where if you really look at the spectrum of YouTube, I hate to break it to you. If you're in the retro world, you're looking at 50-50 of people who might have different ideas than you or different thoughts than you or think different things should be implemented or not implemented in the world. And that's just the reality and how they feel and what they believe in life shouldn't affect the way you treat them. I say that because we've seen comments here and there, even on our show saying, hey, how dare you guys say this or mention that? Well, the reality is we're a very diverse group, probably one of the most diverse groups on YouTube in the retro world. There's all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, all different political beliefs, all different beliefs on anything really, especially in the, the heated world of the past couple of years. And at the end of the day, we're all still brothers. We still goof around, not literal brothers, but we're brothers. We goof around with each other. We say, hey, I can clown on you for that. You can clown on me for that. I'm gonna make fun of this guy, that guy. We make fun of people on this side, this side, that side, that belief, this belief, ha 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 ha. But at the end of the day, we're cool with each other because that's how life should be. Life's too short to be sensitive and let your feelings get in the way of how you're gonna treat somebody, unless obviously it impacts your life in a way that's detrimental to your life. But otherwise, be cool. Be cool with people. Let people be them. Accept them for them, and that's it. And that goes for both sides. I know when you say things like accept people for who they are, one side's gonna go, aha, they're talking about that side, and the other side's gonna go, aha, they're talking about that side. I'm talking about everybody. Be cool with one another. I love that I'm like talking about things that I genuinely like wasn't even planning on talking about. As soon as I said that I'm gonna let this video be a place for me to just talk and chit chat, yeah, I decided to talk and chit chat. Why am I looking at other places besides the camera? Almost 10 years of YouTube, not just on this channel. 10 years of YouTube and I still don't know how to look at the camera. 
I think something I should mention too is we're gonna be branding our channel soon. It's just as far as the logo goes, like change it up a little bit. Because our channel's really evolved so much more than video games. It's honestly become everything nostalgic and everything in between as well. We're just kind of a brotherhood of guys who like to have fun and make everything about the journey. I feel like another thing I should mention is maybe the dislike bar now that that's gone. I really don't like it. And not in the fact that I feel like I love seeing dislikes on a video, of course not. But I feel like we really learn a lot from the dislike bar. And I know of course there's gonna be people that just don't like channels and just are gonna inherently go there and dislike. But for the most part, it actually served a really good purpose. I know me every year, I have an old heater in my house and I feel like every year I have to go back and look at the same video on how to light the thing because it's more complicated than a normal heater. I don't know why it's so complicated. And every year I go back to the same video and sometimes I'll click on the wrong one and I'm like, oh, that's not the one. That one has like 90% dislikes. That's obviously not the right one. But YouTube's YouTube and Oh, speaking of what I said earlier, I know it's a more sensitive world. I guess people don't like to see dislikes and it really hurts their feelings. I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying I, I know that's a bigger part of it. Uh, YouTube wants to say it's for certain reasons, but there's other reasons. Let's be real. There's other reasons. They're a big corporation and they get money from corporations and big ad companies that get big business from them. And what happens when you do big business and these big business gets like 90% dislikes? People ain't going to trust you or like you. But with that said, I'm excited to do this game room. I think it's gonna be a joyous time. By the time you see this, Gabo and Ricky should have these, but check this out. I got this for Gabo, pretty cool. And this one for Gabo as well. They're metal tin signs. And I got this one custom made for Ricky as well. Punch Out, he loves Punch Out. I also got him a vintage Mario Brothers puzzle that I've never seen, super old one. Look. Literally just almost went through the floor. How sick this poster is. How big it is. There comes an airplane. Lastly, I'll say this. I'm really thankful for the channel and thankful for you guys that have been watching. We're, again, next year is coming up on 10 years of us doing YouTube as a whole. Again, not just this channel, but game hunting. Which also reminds me that we are probably one of the very few people that have been game hunting since back in the day of the game chaser early days, of retro hunter early days, and still doing it like on the fact that we're doing it like on a weekly basis. Obviously the game chasers and others still do it, but we're like probably one of the only few, or I don't know, you tell me other ones, they're still consistently focused on game hunting. And I wanted to point out that I'm thankful for the community more than anything. And I know that's so cliche to say, but our channel really holds a special place in that. And I don't mean it by any terms of making us look good. What I mean it by is our show is boots on the ground, guerrilla style. We're not a show that's more focused on being in a game room and talking to a camera. We're more, hey, let's go crazy, let's have fun, let's be involved in whatever's going on in the game hunting world and with the community. And with that said, going back to what I said earlier, it's so cool for us to see that uh, you're in a world with so many people. We go to so many things and we know that so many of us have different opinions on so many things in the world. And when you talk to people and you get to know people, the world's a much better place than the news wants you to believe. I don't care what side of the news you watch or anything. It's such a better place than you know when you actually talk to people, even if they're one of the people that you might have yelled at on the internet for because you don't like what they said, but when you talk to them, you're like, yeah, really? We don't really see that many differences on core things in our life. It's just some things that might make us more heated than others. So with that said, keep loving on people. It's just the way to do it, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, keep loving on people and respect others for the differences again. And that goes for everybody on all sides. Freedom is a wonderful thing in this world. I appreciate you guys for, for real. You guys are awesome. Here's some wood. Please pray that I get like good wood this time for plywood.